everybody <clears throat> happy Memorial Day for all my uh, my viewers and followers around the world uh, if you don't know this is Memorial Day in the United States I have my flag hung up I'll put it aside for now but um, I just wanted to uh, take a moment and thank all those that protect serve our country the United States of America um, we appreciate what you do I appreciate what you do and keep doing the great job. Let's all spend time this weekend to remember those who served and protected our country. And for those of my followers and fans around the world, you probably have a similar holiday, and we appreciate them as you probably appreciate those that serve your country as well. So for this Executive Gardener episode, um, I get a lot of emails and correspondence from people saying, uh, hey, Jeff, um, your, uh, your garden is perfect. Uh, don't you ever have these problems, that problems? Of course I do. So this, this episode, I'm going to be talking about a problem that I've had. So if you haven't been following the news lately, Texas has had uh, more rain than it's probably had in 100 years, especially South Texas, the past few weeks. Uh, so as an example, one day alone last week, just north of Houston and Brenham, we had 16 inches of rain. When you have that type of rain that comes down 16 inches in one day, it wreaks havoc on a garden. So in my 12 years being in the Houston area, it's the worst gardening year I've ever had. And all that rain and the heat that we have here in Houston has created a problem. That problem that I'll talk about in this episode and how to deal with it is white flies. So white flies are, t are I'll talk about what a white fly is, but it's typically more prevalent in the markets where you have more heat, okay? The rain complicates things even more. So I'll talk about the white fly problem, what it is, I'll show you how to treat it. So. Most people think that white flies um, are actually flies. They're not flies at all, they're actually aphids. So they're part of the aphid family. And what you'll do is, and I'll show you in a little bit, uh, I'll zoom in on one of my tomato plants, they get on the underside of the leaves, okay? <clears throat> and when they get on the underside of the leaves, they lay their eggs, and they multiply extremely quickly. So the white fly, excuse me, the white fly again is an aphid, it's got actually four wings. It's very small, but it does incredible damage to a plant if not treated, and they multiply 16 times. So 16 times they go from egg to uh, larva to full uh, aphid or fly within 16 days. So before you know it, you could have a complete inf infestation in, the, in your garden. You know, probably close to that right now. I'll show you what I'm going to do to treat it. So there's really two types of damages that these uh, white flies or aphids create. Number one is they get into your plant and they go into the soft tissue layer, almost like a mosquito. They stick um, a tube into the plant and they suck the juices out of the plant. Now there's two issues with sucking the juices out of the plant, out of the soft tissue of the plant. Number one is that <clears throat> it takes those nutrients and, and that the plant needs and sucks them out for itself. Number two is when it sticks that <clears throat> needle-like thing, and I can't remember, inside the plant like a mosquito sticks it into your skin, it can leave a disease, okay, and that can disease the plant. So that's the direct issue of a white fly. The indirect issue of the white fly is that um, <clears throat> once it sticks that needle in, it secretes what's called honeydew. <clears throat> so it leaves honeydew all over your plant, and that's the secretion of a white fly. The honeydew itself creates fungus all over the plant, which of course creates all other issues for your plant. So fungus excuse me, is not a good thing for your plant. In addition, that fungus attracts what's called Argentinian ants or other types of ants that come in and feed off the fungus uh, or the honeydew which creates the fungus <clears throat> and it keeps those ants sometimes keep the beneficial insects which could kill the aphids like ladybugs off the plant. So there's all types of complications direct and indirectly from the white fly. So I'm going to show you what I do <clears throat> to treat the white fly. If a plant is very infested by white flies, you should just pull it, get it out, put it in the trash, and get rid of the white flies altogether. I don't think that I'm that far along. So what I do is I always treat my gar garden organically. I use this 3-in-1 organic spray. You can see I don't endorse it. I just picked it up at my local garden store. It's called Organicide 3-in-1 Garden Spray. So I'm going to mix it into a mixer, and it does three things. Now, there's nothing wrong with using insecticidal soap. Nothing wrong with that at all, like Dr. Bronner's or some of the others. But the reason I want a three-in-one organic spray is that um, it's got the insecticide, it's got the miticide, so that'll kill the aphids, 
or any soft bodied uh, insect or aphid that's on your plant, but it also has got the fungicide. So as I talked about the honeydew that's secreted, the honeydew will also be, uh, and the fungus that attaches to the honeydew will also be treated on the plant. So let me mix this up in my sprayer, get my garden where I've got a lot of white flies. I'll show you what the white fly looks like and how to treat it. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are in my garden and I'm gonna take a look at this tomato plant <clears throat> and I hope you can see it and see what the white flies look like. But when I hit the leaf, <clears throat> the underside of the leaf, you'll see a lot of white flies uh, pop up. Hold on. There they are, okay. So, you see them all? That's what they look like, all these white flies. You can see they're, they're kind of all over the place. Um, and they're even on some of my other plants. So, there they are. I hope you can see it. Um, so, um, I try to find, so let's, let's get into it, but uh, suffice it to say I've got a, there you go, a bunch of white flies, I hope you can see it uh, flying around my plant. So let's talk about it again. So the white flies, okay, they're going to, uh, they're going to lay eggs on the bottom side of the leaves, so on the bottom side of the leaf here, that's where they usually uh, stay during the day. Um, and I don't see many eggs, which is a good sign but they're gonna stay on the bottom of the leaves and they're gonna get all over your plant pretty quickly. So, what we wanna do here, and let's <clears throat> take a look here, let me back up a little bit, is I have a little mixer here, um, as you'll see. My, my hope is that I can spray and um, talk at the same time, but you simply wanna, there you go, you wanna spray it in a fine mist under the plant, all over the plant. Now the key is that you need to, um, you need to get under the leaves and you can see them flying all over the place now you see all those white flies that's it again those are aphids and you need to get the plant uh, thoroughly doused so i use this little one that uh, in the solution that i use i use an ounce uh, an ounce per half gallon or gallon of water and that's how you do it now the best time to treat this if you're going to treat your white flies is definitely going to be during the morning or at night. <clears throat> That's the time that the white flies, which are aphids, are slowest. So uh, what I'm gonna do, and I recommend you do, is treat this once a week, um, or as much as needed, depending on the infestation. Now, I had one plant that was in here that was diseased. I took that completely out. That had the white flies, but you gotta stay on these white flies, because if you don't, uh, they'll multiply, like I said, 16 times within 16 days, from egg to larva to full white fly. So, um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to treat this entire plant. You don't need to see me uh, spray the entire plant, but you saw what I use, what the white fly is, and how to treat it. You'll see that I do have some good-sized tomatoes. This is the same uh, tomato plant that I filmed last week. I actually got another tomato plant over here, which is uh, starting to produce some tomatoes, too. I don't want the white flies to get all over that. I don't see them on that that much. So that's it. Again, I, like all of you, do have issues in my garden. This time it's white fly, I've got to deal with it. The rain has, and the heat has just created an, a, uh, a perfect environment for them to produce and uh, get out of control. That's all I have. Um, until next time, I hope everybody has a great Memorial Day weekend. Again, thanks to those who have served, presently served, uh, to protect our country. Hope everybody has a great one. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Um, I'm going to be giving a uh, tower garden away in two or three weeks and uh, want you to be a part of that all you have to do is subscribe to the channel until next time take care bye